Welcome, everybody. Uh, I'm Jeremy Webb. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of New Scientist, and I want to thank you for coming to New Scientist Live. Uh, our topic for this evening is nothing. Um, just a word of uh, advice, or a plea, really. Uh, can you please switch your phones onto silent? Uh, and uh, don't turn them off if you're a tweeter, because we want you to tweet, and the hashtag is there if you wish to do so. So I want to start uh, by getting one thing out in the open. There are a lot of puns around the title of this book. Uh, as I finished a radio interview last week, I was told, thanks for nothing. Uh, I've also been told I have nothing of consequence to say. I hope for your sakes they're wrong on that particular score. Um, I just wanted to draw a line under the puns because, you know, it's going to get a bit heavy with them, I suspect. Um, but I have one exception. Um, I hope you are all aware of the absurdity of an evening filled with nothing. Uh, I hope it hasn't passed you by. Well, it was that same absurdity uh, that was the initial attraction to the idea behind the book, which you're all going to take home later. When we at New Scientists started to brainstorm ideas that could go in the magazine, special issues that we've done and the book, it quickly became clear that nothing is a topic replete with meaning and implication. Many fields, major fields of science, present debates and past intellectual upheavals would not have happened without research relating to nothing. Discoveries would not have been made without research into different aspects of nothing. There are profound subjects, such as the birth of the universe, about which you're going to hear uh, a lot in a moment or two. There is the trivial, why watching grass grow is not to be confused with doing nothing. Uh, you'll read things in the book that are important to you personally, uh, such as why doing nothing should carry a health warning, and there is a host of stuff that is just simply fascinating. From what happens uh, in your brain when you think about nothing to why some animals appear to do nothing. And, of course, in that case, it turns out they are actually doing lots and lots. We just can't see them doing it. I hope you'll find the book and, of course, this evening entertaining and edifying. Now, this evening, we have four brilliant authors who have written essays in the book. I will introduce each one in turn, and they will have... Uh, 15 minutes to tell their tale. I too will pitch in and talk about our search for the perfect vacuum. Speakers, please keep to time. I will cough intrusively when, they, when you've spoken for 14 minutes. After we've all spoken, I'll open up this discussion uh, to the floor, so please keep your questions until the end. Finally, I'll ask the head of Profile Books, which publishes New Scientist's creations, to say a few words at the very end.